Hello, I'm Andrew Quitmeyer, and I've come to the park today to... Hello. Questions. I've noticed that some dogs are longer than other dogs. Some are much longer than other dogs. I've come to the park today to learn about dogs, in particular, long dogs. And I want to learn today why, what, how, where, long dogs. Generally I've noticed in the park some dogs are like, they're a lot longer than they are tall. Sure. Longer, way longer than they are tall. Yeah. Way longer than they are tall. Right. There are many dogs that are sort of longer than they are tall, and there's also some dogs that are taller than they are long. Okay. Oh, uh, Mike Tyler and Maggie. I adopted her about four months ago. In the world of long dogs versus short dogs, how would you define your dog to be? Uh, I would say short. My name is Maria, and this is Bella. It's my little girl. She's about a year and a half now, and she's short. I've seen longer dogs at her, you know, size. Sure, my name is Jean. Uh, I am originally from China but I've been in Atlanta for almost 15 years. Her name is Evie, like E-V-I-E. -I -E. Okay. Because she was born on New Year's Eve. I think it's short. Okay. It's a short dog. She's a rescue mutt. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what kind of dog. <laughs> we adopted okay. an American Bulldog, and she grew up to be this terrier. Maybe mid, <laughs> mid length, medium dog. Long dogitude, he's, he's a, he's about, Average for his size, I would say. I don't think he's too long. I mean, you know, like a dachshund. He's a medium dog. Well, I mean, dogs in general tend to be longer than they are tall. The dogs I would consider long would be, you know, your dachshunds and wiener dogs. Okay. Any short, stocky dog that is disproportionate in multiple directions. My name's Kyle, and this is Taj. Well proportioned for his his build and size in general. Okay. But, uh, not particularly long. Uh, well, my name is Brittany Coleman, and this is Coco. She's a miniature dachshund. She's not as long as possibly other miniature dachshunds, but she's the perfect length for, I guess, me. So she does everything that you would think a dog does. A small dog. She jumps on the bed, jumps on the couches. My name's Alice. I go to Georgia State. I'm a junior. Um, this is Liera. She's half Yorkshire Terrier, half Dodson. I think she's long and short. Okay. Yourself and your pup. Oh, of the camera not. <laughs> Sit! Blood. My name is Ann Katros. This is Mingus and this is Mackenzie. We call her Matt for short. She's a mix, a lab mix, and he is a miniature Dachshund Dapple. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, this is a, a, a Dachshund is, that's that's their build. They're long and thin. And what about Mac? And Mac is uh, um, appropriately long. She's appropriate. She's an appropriate size. She's a little thick, but other than, than that, she's perfect. Uh, a perfect size. Okay, this is Wilbur. We just got him back in June um, from a rescue group, and he had heartworms when we first got him, but he's all better now. So, but he is a wonderful dog. We love him. <laughs> I guess he's pretty long but fairly short in comparison to how long he is. I'm Sarah and this is Saki. Saki. She's a chow mix. I think she's longer if you are aware of how big she actually is. That's how wide the dog is. Oh. <laughs> Compared to like actual it's size. Like half a Zaki under there. Yeah, like there's, boop, there's our head. <laughs> there's the rest of the dog. Okay, uh, my name is Luis and I have Leah and Lindo, my two five-year-old pups. She's a cockapoo and he's a Bichon poo. Based on their breed, uh, their, their average, her legs are shorter than his because of the cocker spaniel in her. Uh-huh. Okay, guys. And, uh, yeah, so I, I would say average for their type of breed. Hi, my name's Collins, and this is Unity, my dog. I'm just at the park today, hanging out. She looks quite long to me. Uh, I guess she's gonna fill out a little bit more so she won't appear as long. 
Well, I'm Veronica. This is my sister's dog. His name is Schaefer Joy, also known as Schaefer's Joyous Maximus. He is probably longer than he is tall. We'll go with long. Your dog, being a medium dog, yeah. was specifically bred to do versus if he was a long dog or a shorter dog. Did you see that? That's what he was born to do. Um, he, well, Dalmatians are normally coach dogs. They were bred to be coach dogs, run alongside the horses. If I had to guess, I would say they like, didn't really have anything to do with them. Dogs that's running alongside horses might be funny. In general, the dogs that I know of that are longer, when I think about it, are, are more likely to be hounds. Um, Basset hounds, I guess. Uh, I don't know what uh, a Datsun's use was other than probably getting into burrows for hunting. Um, I think a lot of them are probably less lupine. Um, in my opinion, have a more limited capability for learning some things. Um, but you know, if you were hunting and you wanted a dog that was lower to the ground, that would pick up scent better. You know, that would be a plus for sure. I guess she can jump. She can jump really pretty high. She can jump very high. You know, she's nine years old right now. She doesn't jump that much anymore. But when she's a puppy, you know, she can jump almost as high, like you know, like those bouncing balls. Well, she jumps in the bed, jumps on the couches. She moves around very quickly. So I don't think her limp hinders her anyway. She's able to actually look at things. Like she'll stretch out. Like she doesn't want to get off the bed completely. She'll stretch and get on the floor a little bit and then come back on the bed. So large breeds of dogs tend to be able to do more things. Like they'll take them camping. They'll take them hunting. Take them fishing. The bigger dogs she wouldn't fit in the front seat probably in the car, in the small car. They're good house dogs. They don't have a yard to uh, run in. So their size and their temperament is good for apartment type dog. Perfect. And having them together is really good uh, to they can keep each other company while I'm not around. So that's really good. They can reach stuff, you know, long. <laughs> the tennis are worm if he hides his legs. No, I think the disadvantage of Mingus uh, is, you know, over the period of time he might develop disc problems because he's not proportioned evenly. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I, I do worry about that. But as far as Matt, I think she's perfect. He's smarter than most Dalmatians, I think. Do you think intelligence is related to a dog's length at all? No. no. Okay. I think they're smarter. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot of inbreeding going on, so mm -hmm. like, they live longer. She's really fast. She's real fast. Okay. She can keep up with it. Yeah. And okay. Greyhound. Uh huh. She keeps up with those. She loves running. Do you think if she was longer, would she be able to go as fast? Probably I don't know, because the legs would be shorter. Mm. Is it a lot of harder. long dogs have like tiny legs. legs. Uh, I, I noticed he's missing a foot. Um, did Is that a result of his length at all? Not at all. <laughs> Not that I know of. Okay. Not that I know of. I know it was a trap, which is terrible. Oh. Before I had him. So. I, I, he might have, you know, had he been a shorter length dog, he might have missed it. Uh, what types of abilities do you th feel that Tosh has um, due to his genetic predispositions to being the sort of medium length dog that he is? Um, I think he's well balanced. I think he's pretty agile. Um, he's, he's got a lot better endurance than something with, with shorter legs that but I, I feel that normally dogs that are longer have shorter legs, basset hounds. Um, Breeder dogs, all that. I have no idea how to, how to gauge anything because I've only had one dog ever, so. Okay. <laughs> I do worry about that, but as far as Matt, I think she's perfect. Um, you know, I mean, any any dog that you uh, that's uh, that you're working out all the time, whether if you're a frisbee dog or whatever, mm -hmm. you're taking chances with their hips. Of course. So, uh, but I mean, I like to exercise her, and she runs and jumps and chases squirrels and. Um, was very happy and uh, so no I think he's more at a disadvantage because he's he's long right you know and uh, there's not a lot of support in between his front legs and back legs you know um, and are there any difficulties that come with your dog's leg? Uh, no not that I have found I can't speak on behalf of Coco <laughs> no I haven't I haven't just seen 
any difficulties in terms of her size. She's very, she likes hiking, you know, she can navigate her path very well. She's kind of like a very experienced hiker. Occasionally it gets stuck into his um, large turning radius, etc. I think she may have some back problems, possibly, if her, she has like a really long back. He is very portable and um, he is cuter. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> Do you feel that if uh, Schaefer here was two feet taller, would he be as cute? No. Okay. Definitely um, not. Do you feel that your dog's length has anything to do with how cute it is? I think it does. Yeah, I think longer dogs are, or not too long, but longer dogs are pretty cute. How many inches would you add to your dog before it stopped being cute? I think just just how she is. Like, I think if she was longer, then I don't think she would be like that cute anymore. I don't know that she'd be cuter if okay. she was longer. I think she's an optimal length for cuteness. Nice. I mean, she looks more like a bear this way. <laughs> our cuteness effect buzz like. I think it's a good size. She's very cute. Yeah, she's bigger, not as cute. Well, I don't think a lot of people see miniature dachshunds around as much. And so when they see her, because she's so small and so tiny, they're just like mesmerized and they think she's the most adorable thing ever. I think the appeal is because she's so small and you can pick her up and hold her like a baby. So. I think dachshunds would be less cute if they were less long. If she was too shorter then she'd probably be as cute if she was two feet longer than no probably not. But Long dogs are really cute. No, no correlation. <laughs> no. Okay. So even if he was like a foot longer he would still be just as cute? Yeah. That would look weird I think but probably still as cute once we get used to it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and what he looks like a hot dog. <laughs> and hot dogs are very very popular. <laughs> I don't think so. You know, I, I like all kinds of dogs. So, you know, I, I think they are cute in their own ways. So I'm dog lover, so maybe it's a bias, but I love all kinds of dogs. <laughs> and uh, just final question: Do you have anything to say to the world about your dogs or dogs in general, um, or long dogs? Yeah, I have. So I have a couple of things <laughs> to say. Um, be prepared if you get a dog. You know, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> not going to be easy all the time. This is quite a bit of work, and they don't listen all the time. <laughs> and you will want to swat them, <laughs> but it's like, and maybe you will. Whatever fits the person, man. <laughs> Best I could say. All dogs have their benefits, and I mean, the most important thing is how you train and raise a dog. Dogs are cool, you should get a dog. Adopt any from a rescue. Yeah, any kind of dog. Don't adopt or purchase a dog if you really don't want to take care of it and if you don't want that commitment. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big commitment because it's not just about feeding them and letting them out. You have to give them heartworm preventatives, you have to give them, you have to take care of them just like you would anyone else. Mm -hmm. you know, just just don't, don't go out and get a dog because you think they're cute. Right. Because they are a commitment. They're, they're, they're not a lifetime commitment, but most of them are 10 or 12 years, a 10 or 12 year commitment go out and adopt in uh, rescues, I admire you for it mm -hmm. because uh, there's just way too many dogs out there and you know, there's a lot to choose from. For and, sure. Uh, oh. I think rescues make the best. Don't tell Mingus I said that. <laughs> uh, I would like the, uh, the owners of the dogs, uh, especially the ones that come out in the public, uh, to make sure they pick up after they do their what they uh, are necessary to do, what their needs are, mm -hmm. and that the owners should be uh, picking up after them so that everyone will be happier about that. And then, are there any other things you would just like the world to know about long dogs? <laughs> uh, they are adorable. I mean, they do have back problems eventually, but besides that, right now, I'm enjoying every bit of being with Coco and loving her to death. What are your They're feelings? They're just as great as normal <laughs> link dogs. Okay, so, so don't discriminate. Against... Yes. Perfect. Great. Can you give me a don't discriminate against long dogs? Uh, no. Is there any last things you would like to say about your dog and its length to the rest of the world? About long dogs in general. Oh, oh, oh I hit everyone. Oh. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm pro long dogs. Long dogs are interesting. Dachshunds are funny looking. Thumbs up, long dogs. I grew up with dachshunds. They're huh. great. Yes, I think long dog. Any dog is great. Long dogs. The longer the better.